Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Works and welcome to my channel and today we're back in Fight Night Champion territory with a story and a question. The fight I'm going to put up is um, basically is a sparring match between uh, myself and multiple, multiple OWC champion B. Tierney. Um, he's a PSN friend of mine, great guy, great guy, shares a lot of wealth and knowledge of the game and what have you. Um, I spar with him frequently and he's an awesome player, awesome player, a very, very humble guy. I'll start off with the story. Okay, first of all, when Fight Night Champion came out and everybody was playing it, over 10,000 people. Oh, by the way, don't even ask why I chose um, Robert De Niro's character, Travis Bickle from the Raging Bull movies. Admittedly, I just created that character and I was so pleased with the result of it that I just wanted to see how he plays. You know, but facing B. Turney, I should have chosen a licensed fighter. But we were sparring. It wasn't anything competitive, so it was all cool. It was all blessed. So here's the fight. Yeah, so when Fight Night Champion first came out and everybody was playing it, you know, over 10,000 people, everybody was just so hyped up about it. But then... You know, the game went through peaks and troughs and stuff like that. And when things finally calmed down, the activity in the lobbies was still strong. But I noticed one person in particular that wasn't getting any fights. You know, I looked at his record and it was pretty decent, you know. But he just wasn't getting the fights. And a lot of people was kind of weirding him out you know, trying to bring assumptions that, oh, he's weird and I don't know what's up with him. Why is, why is he staying in the lobbies for so long and no one wants to fight him? So I decided to, to hook up a private lobby and just have a conversation with him. And I just simply asked him, well, how come you're not getting the fights? How come you're not, how come you're not playing? How come you're not getting the fights that much? He said to me, well, he said, you like Fight Night Champion, don't you? I said, yes. I said, you don't like the exploits, do you? I said, no. I said, you, do, you don't like the spamming and all that crap, do you? No. And you like to fight sim, right? Yeah. This is a boxing simulation, right? Yes. So answer me this question, Rhythm. How come in an OWC match and an online ranked fight, you're only fighting 10 rounds? Why isn't there the option to basically... Well, it's not even an option... Why isn't there a regulation for online fights to be of 12 three-minute rounds as standard and 15 rounds for heavyweights, 15 three-minute rounds? And from the moment he asked me that question, my whole view of the game changed. And it, and it changed for me for the better. Now... I'm not taking away anything from anyone who's been playing the game and who are no doubt elite champion fighters. But for me, 10 rounds is basically, well, let's start again. If we're fighting 10 two minute rounds on an online ranked head to head or OWC, that is literally 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes that makes up the bout. If you're fighting an unranked 12 three-minute round, that's 36 minutes. And I don't know about you, but with the added, hmm, let's say, 10, two minutes, 20. So with the added 16 minutes, those are 16 minutes that can literally turn about on its head. And for me, that was enough for me because it, it just taught me about distance fighting. I don't mean distance as in space. I just mean the distance spread across the whole fight. It just taught me how to, to fight in that way and wear people down. Now, when you're fighting a 10 round fight, it's bad enough that you've got the spammers to deal with, you know? Because within the first three rounds, if, you, if you're getting spammed good, then you literally have to win the other seven rounds. You know, or if you don't, if you don't knock them out, you know, you're going to have to hit them with good 
power straights because everyone knows that the power straights are the most valuable punches in the game. And judging by the amount of people that use the sidestep straight and indeed the sidestep uppercut, you're not going to have enough time to adapt as much as you want. So, in my opinion, I find the whole 10 round thing very arcadey. You know, you don't see in a real middleweight fight that they're fighting for 10 rounds, two minute rounds. So, why should it be implemented in this game online? So for me, it's like, you know, the whole, the whole system of, of being a world champion at this game is based, upon, is based upon a regulation that doesn't exist in the real world. So I need, you know, a, some debate on this. Because for me, Pemby will tell you, and it's best described in, in a recent fight that I had with him. Um, I was Sugar Ray Leonard, and he was B-Hop, Bernard Hopkins, and he was running out of stamina. I mean, he was. Bernard, Bernard Hopkins was running out of stamina. But he managed to knock me down, I think it was three times, and I was pretty shocked. But it proved that when you fight the distance and you adapt to certain situations, that you can turn the fight on its head. You can turn the fight completely around. And that's what gives the thrills of boxing matches because of that amount of distance across the whole fight. Now, 10 rounds for me, it, it, it doesn't show, it doesn't show grit. You know, it's just a case where within the first three rounds, you know, it's, it's either gotta be two to one or a three round win out of those first three rounds. And then, depending on who's on the losing side, they have to make up for it within the next seven. And everybody's aware of that. And where exploits and power punches are used, it's, it's very hard to gain ground after the third round if you're losing in a 10 round fight because of the spamming. And you can only combat spamming by spamming, you know? So definitely for the, the next fight night, it shouldn't even be an option. It should be as standard that when you have OWC championship fights or head-to-head -head fights, that it's obligatory to have the rounds set at 12 and 15 three-minute rounds. You know, and like I said, believe me, I'm not taking away anything from anyone who are excellent at this game. But I think it gives more people a chance to play the game and adapt when it's spread across that distance. You know, the official distance, you know? That's what I think, anyway. I mean, what are your views? You know, do you think that, that it should be the way it is? Or do you think that a change like that should happen? Because we're talking about a boxing simulated game. I mean, I know that every single aspect of the game, of boxing in general, might not be able to be encapsulated within a computer game. But we can get pretty close. We can get pretty close. And with a company like EA doing it, they can pay a lot more attention to that. And I just found it kind of strange that the main thing, the one important thing, the whole template of a championship fight wasn't even taken into consideration. It was just 10 rounds. 10 two minute rounds and even when you when you see the clock it doesn't tick in true time i'm not even sure if, if it even does that um in real time when you choose 12 three minute rounds i didn't really get get that deep in it but with what the guy told me from way back about that it just changed my whole view about the game so i tend to fight a lot of unranked fights and it's not because that I'm, I'm chicken or anything like that. I just like to fight in a sim way. You know, I used to, I used to go into the forums a lot when the, when the game first came out. And there was a lot of talk and debate about sim fighting and no skating and this and that. You can only throw one sidestep uppercut and, 
You know, you can only throw one power straight per round. And this was coming from, like, really good fighters, you know, really good players of the game. And I'm thinking, what total bullshit? You can't, you can't tell someone how to fight. It's like telling Mike Tyson, oh, don't go in there and bite off Evander Holyfield's ear, please. You know what I mean? That's what he done. You know, whether it was down to frustration or what have you, that's what he done. That's not in the rules of boxing, but that's what he done as a licensed boxer, you know. So there's always going to be exploits within the game that, that people will, will pick up on. But people who can play the game and play the game right will do so with like-minded people. Oh, there's Check Hook. Now I've got to big him up because... um. He was one of my trainers um, within the game. If there's if there's anyone that that was a true master of the sidestep straight and the sidestep uppercut and the back straight, it is him. You know his record was his record was bananas, man. It was ridiculous, and he had a, and he was getting a lot of hate for it as well. But he's saying, well, you know, why am I going to stand there and let somebody hit me in the face? You know, Ali doesn't do it. All the great fighters, do, you know, they don't do it. They dance around the ring and pick their shots and make educated punches. That's what you do. So, anyway, I digress. So, for me, the 12-rounder and the 15-rounder has got to be as standard as part of the next installment of the series. If it isn't, then it's, it will always be an archaic kind of game. You know, I don't, I, 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 I don't know what else to say. I mean, for me, that's just what it needs to be. I really think that if you put out a boxing sim game and you do it in the way that boxing matches are designed, you will get a lot. You will get a lot more interest because you do have some die-hard, hardcore boxing fans. You know, and there's been a lot of boxers that's, that's gone on records, you know, criticizing this game as not being accurate, you know, and true to the game of boxing. And who better to, you know, to give their views on, on the game than real boxers, licensed boxers themselves. Okay, right, so we're in the fourth round. And as you can see, I'm getting schooled here but I'm still holding my own. Still holding my own. And funnily enough, I think the fight that I had um, with B prior to this fight, I actually beat him. I did beat him. But I didn't have the record button pressed, which was such a shame. You know, but like I said, you know, this, this game wasn't really a, a competitive game. It was really, a, you know, a, it was a spa. Because really, you know, if, you know, B could have just pressurised me and shot my kidneys up straight away. But I was just so pleased of, of creating, creating this character for the fight. And that's another thing as well. You know, I think um, w with creative fighters, I think a lot more fun will be had with them if people were just a lot more, a lot more sensible with them. Do you know what I mean? You know, obviously, if you're basically making up um, celebrities and things like that, yeah, their height and dimensions, you know, make them as true as possible and things like that. But you know, but if you're going to make a Tom Cruise character, you're not going to make him six foot eight, are you? Do you know what I'm saying? You know, it can get ridiculous like that. And and because of that, not a lot of people use creative fighters to just have, you know, a good spa. So, you know, so with that whole creation um, section of the game, it's not really used to great effect because, you know, apart from OWC and with OWC, you know, there's a standard template for quite a few. It's like six foot eight, max reach. Which is bullshit. But um, yeah, I think definitely, definitely. I'm a, I'm a 12, I'm a 12 round fighter. I, I, I cannot fight a 10 round fight because 
my mind has already reached the fourth round before I've even started because I already am trying to get the style of my opponent within the first three rounds. And if by doing that, I've lost all three, then I've got a lot of ground to make up in such a short space of time. But at least with 12 rounds, you know, you can, you can make up the ground. As many times that I've lost the first three rounds, but it kind of taught me to adapt to a situation and make ground. But in a in a ten round in a ten two minute round fight, that's just arcadey by nature anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, yeah, you can bring the arcade element into it, but not on a world championship level. That just don't make sense. Because by doing that, no, let, 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 let me rewind. With the way how the game is at the moment, you know, noobs can basically get, get way up there in the leaderboards. If their exploits and spamming allows it. And I think that's why the game lost a lot of steam in that respect. But I'm also glad, you know, that a lot of the new blood is 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 putting life back into the game. You know, Doc Dosse, um, Fight Night's Finest, Pemby 66, Dave the Rip One. You know, I've got to give a shout out to those guys. But I also got to give a shout out to um, people like Rough Tactics, um, Check Hook, and Game Tag Punisher. Now, he's, he's one of the guys that actually you know, one of the first people to run commentaries on Fight Night Champion. There was a lot of other people who played Fight Night Champion but didn't do commentaries, but Game Tag Punisher was one of the first guys to do commentaries. And I, and I know people like Relapse, you know, um, he was very excited about that. He was looking at advice from Game Tag Punisher in terms of commentating. So I've been watching videos long enough to see who started the thing and who inspired people to do the thing. And, and I've got to say, Game Tag Punisher um, was definitely one of the first commentators of the game to really bring articulation within the game and, 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 and knowledge within his commentaries, you know? And Intockable as well, yeah, Intockable. I've got to give him a big up as well. Because one of his... Um, his videos that I watched a lot was um, Boxing 101 Psychology. And it was just all about the psychology of the game, you know, and using the three, the three knock down and, you know, the whole um, 60 seconds in between rounds to psych someone out. But when you really get right down to it, a lot of people say they don't, they don't like that. But that's what's in the game of boxing. It's like if you, you know, in between rounds, you've got 60 seconds. So what are you going to do? You know, you got your ass whooped in round four. So you're going to go and sit down for what? For 10 seconds and just get up and start fighting again? That's not going to happen. So in reality, it's like, you know, anyone who's playing the game can sit down for 60 seconds and, you know, and regroup on their game plan. You know, that's not something for anybody not to like. For real, you know. Um, and what else? What else was an aspect that um, Intockable used? Oh yeah, the three, the three, um, the three knockdown replay. Now I know that pisses a lot of people off, but I will state for the record that for me, if I knock somebody down, um, unless unless my opponent was being a proper a hole. I would use the three knockdown replay just to find the best angle of the replay. So if I get it on the first knockdown, I'll leave it on the first knockdown. If I get it on the second, the second, and so on. I think you, you, you know where I'm coming from. But if my opponent was being an a-hole, you know, and using so many different exploits and stuff, you know, I would use the three knockdown replay as a lesson to be taught, you know. So yeah, in talk about, I got I got to big him up as well. So, you know that 
that's just giving you know paying homage to to the old school as well Let me see what else. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Raging Bull. No, that's more or less it, really. That's more or less it. I mean, this fight goes across... Um... Oh, I've forgotten now, but it's... I mean, the fight is 27, it's 27 minutes. But, um, yeah, spoiler alert, I do lose. Um... But I've 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 gone a great distance to have lost. Do you know what I mean? Which is different than going into an OWC fight and probably just you know losing within the first three rounds. But the one thing for me, you know, when when I do on the odd occasion fight OWC, is that. The one thing that I avoid, like the plague, is to get knocked down. You know, so my, my defense game is tight. But even still, you know, even when your, your, your defense game is tight, a 10 round fight doesn't feel natural for me. It's like I'm warming up on my sixth round, seventh round. You know, because you have you have your first, the first third, first four rounds, you're just, you know, getting to grips with who you're fighting with, learning their styles and just learning how to counteract their style. You know, then the second one, you know, you're trying to inflict as much damage as you can. And then in the third part, you're just opening up to try and finish. And if you can't do that, just win the rounds by throwing educated punches. And as much power punches as you are able to do. Look at my stamina, 10%, you see? I'm getting a taste of my own medicine, which I don't mind, I don't mind. You see, that's what's involved in a 12 round fight. One sapping one's power. And stamina. <clears throat> now you see with my created fighter I could have maxed him out to 100 but that doesn't make sense either you know it, it wouldn't be true to me and it would be disrespectful to be you know whenever I make um, custom fighters you know, some of them I give different traits, you know, but a lot of them, you know, they have they have the same stats as the licensed fighters. And some people who I fight unranked, they don't, be, it's like they don't believe me. They don't want to fight me because I'm using a created fighter. And when I explain to them and show them what I'm, what I'm working with, even when I press the square buttons and the, and, the, and the stats are up there in their face, clear for them to see, they don't want to, they don't want to fight me. Now this part, I'm just trying to find out how much stamina B's got. Because he's pump blocking, but he's not giving me the chance to actually see the animation as to how tired he is. But I've already given my, my status away. Because he can, he can see clear that I'm, I'm losing stamina. But B's fighting very tight. He's a very compact fighter. And with Winky right, you, you can't really go wrong. You can't go wrong with Winky. There you go. Uppercut in my jaw. There you go. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Doesn't that created fighter look good? And fortunately, I had the front view and the side view in black and white of um, Robert De Niro. Ooh, 
yes, I got up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got quite a few. Um, Eddie Murphy, Samuel Jackson, Chris Rock. Um, some I've downloaded were uh, Michael Jackson, um, Obama. You know, quite a lot of people downloaded those ones. Um, Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank. And some of these people that actually make them, they, you know, they really go to town on them and, you know, give the right measurements, statistics and everything, you know, their fighting style, the works, you know. And those are some of the guys that you don't even see on the leaderboards or you don't see them in the community on, on YouTube. You don't see them in the forums, but, you know, I've got to give props to those guys as well because they help make the game exciting too, you know, when they upload fighters who are not licensed in the game look at that straight 10 dang even though i'm putting up resistance i lost it. Ooh. click do i make it 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 we already know I lost anyway. <laughs> it is no secret what BTNE can do. Yeah, good fight. But anyway, that's it for now. Um, like I said, give me your views and opinions about the 12-15 the, the, the round inclusion in the next game. Love to hear your thoughts. As usual, comment, rate, and subscribe and all that lovely stuff. I'll catch you later. Peace. Two. Please, by all means, comment, rate, subscribe and all that lovely stuff. Thanks for watching.